Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of 3D Printed Photography, and today we are going to mod our 3D printer. I point at it because it's sitting right over there. We're going to mod our 3D printer to change it from the tiny little micro SD card to a full size SD card because I am getting too old to maneuver that micro SD card around. Uh, so this is just something to make it a little easier to get prints from the computer over to the 3D printer. If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I gave up on Octoprint. Uh, I'm just done with it. I'm tired of failed prints. I'm sticking to the SD card, so I'm hoping this is going to be a little better solution to that problem. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, I got a time lapse running upstairs. Uh, going to make a video about assembling time lapses in Virtual Dub. Uh, but until that time lapse is done I want to show you what I ordered and I ordered this off of AliExpress not long before Christmas this is for my 3D printer it is a micro SD to SD card converter so my plan is to stop fiddling with this tiny little micro SD card and convert that over to a regular size SD card because I am getting old and can't see where I need to put this in uh, with this low light area I have here in the nerd cave so let's get this thing unwrapped and get started hey guys the plastic is off and I bought one that had a longer ribbon cable on it because I wanted to uh, I'm not sure I want to mount it yet uh, probably will mount it to the side of the LCD uh, mod that I did, but I'm going to try to maybe wrap it around on the inside of the case of the printer if we move over and look So I may try Putting it over on this side maybe gluing it over there and then routing it inside This hole of the printer and then bringing it around and plugging it in the front that way that way I can just keep some of that coiled up in there now. I'm do have heat to be concerned about so I'm going to evaluate this as I go but that's how we're going to start okay first things first guys I'm just going to test to see if it works so I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way I'm going to pop out the micro SD and I'm going to insert hopefully yeah the adapter okay there it is inserted now I'm going to put my micro SD in. Okay, let's turn it on and see if the printer can read the, the SD card. Um, it certainly can. So now let's figure out a way to route this. Uh, yeah, it's definitely reading it. I'm scrolling through the mini files I have on there. So let's figure out a way we're going to route this cable. Okay guys, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove my LCD mod. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty simple to take this thing on and off. I'm going to just turn this to the side. And I'm going to try to fish my cable. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to fish my cable to the front. Okay, unfortunately guys, see how that's curved up? When it goes inside the case, it just wants to keep curling like that, so... I'm going to have to figure out a way to fish that through. So before I fish anything in there, I went ahead and just rolled this in my hand to try to get it to point down. Let's, uh, let's see if we can make that go in. And if I didn't say it, make sure your printer's off. You don't want to be doing this when your printer's live. You'll be shorting it out and causing a headache. And I'm sure you guys know that, but it always helps to say it. No, it just keeps curving up. Oh, wait, there it is. Let me get 
something a little smaller. Unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, this is the worst part of this project, getting the cable in. I'm going to take all my spare and shove it up here in the LCD. There we go. I want to twist it like this. So, so now, I think I'll just glue it right there. Probably put it right there. That way, it's going to be out of the way of the travel of the printer. Um, it should be good. I'll just super glue that on there. Alright guys, uh, change of plans. I didn't like the way that, that stuck out before. Um, it was going to get in the way of the power cable, so I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to go ahead and glue it to the side. I'm going to shove the extra inside the LCD mount and, and leave it like that. Eventually I'm going to get some legs for the printer, so um, the printer won't be sitting directly on the printer cable. But, but the way that was curved out before, I just didn't like it. It was going to get in the way of my power button. Uh, and I was probably going to break it, so know my limitations. This is the way I'm going to do it. Uh, let's get to gluing it. Okay guys, I went ahead and shoved the cable all in behind the LCD. This is all open back here. Uh, when I'm done, I'll see if I can get you a uh, get you a view into that. Uh, but I'm going to have to get my small camera for that. Uh, so next I'm just going to glue this onto the side piece right here. And I'm just going to use some, some regular super glue. Hold it up for a while, and if that doesn't hold up, I'll, I'm just going to print a part. But let's see what happens. That's why we make this channel, right? Let's see what happens. That's all we have for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting, subscribing. You know the drill. Um, let me know what you think, how you would have done this mod differently. Uh, I think this is going to be the best for workflow. If I end up having a problem, I'm sure I'll make another video about it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.